The Fire Pro W2100 was never supposed to be a gaming card. This card was simply there to power the display, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't play games on it. To give this card the best chance it could, I did overclock it and increase the power limit, but let's see how it goes. Starting off with Overwatch, and at 1080p, lowest quality settings, we are getting somewhere around a 40 FPS average, uh, sometimes dipping into the 30s, sometimes going above into 50, but for the most part, low 40s, upper 30s, which is not necessarily the best way to play a first person shooter. Turning the internal resolution down to auto, and now we are at 60 FPS. The image is a little bit softer than I would probably like, but if this is your only option, at least it's playable. Dirt 3 normally scales very well on low power cards, but in this case it does not do too well. At 1080p low settings, and we are still going to get somewhere around the 45 to 50 FPS. Uh, and this is usually the lowest setting that you would probably want to go to. Dropping everything down to ultra low at 1080p, we are above 60 FPS, but as you can see, the visual difference is pretty dramatic, losing all sorts of effects. So at this point, it's better to drop the resolution down to something like 720p if you actually really wanted to get a lock 60 FPS. Timberborn on ultra, we are in the high teens in for frame rate, which is definitely not a good experience. If we go into the settings, lower everything down to medium, and then we get somewhere close to around 30 FPS, which is definitely playable. Uh, this is, you know, a slower paced game. But if you did want to get all the way up to 60 FPS, you would need to go down to low. Uh, but even then, it is not a guaranteed 60 FPS. You're still going to get into the upper 40s, low 50s some of the time, especially when you're looking at um, a lot of action in this game. Torchlight 2 plays unexpectedly well on this card. At high settings and playing at 1080p, we are usually in the 60 FPS range with for normal size battles. So you are still probably going to drop down into like the 40 FPS range when there is a lot of things happening on screen. But for the most part, you could play this game maxed out and you probably wouldn't really have much of an issue. And if you did want to get a lock 60 FPS, you could drop down a few settings. Control is another example of a game whose settings don't go low enough for this card. Uh, at 540p and lowest possible settings, and we're still going to be somewhere in the upper 20s, low 30s range uh, for gameplay. This game is pretty playable at 30 FPS, so you still could play this game if you wanted to, but for the most part, for most people, this is not the kind of game that you want to be playing on this card. Townscaper is the exact opposite of Control, the ideal game to play with this card. Released in 2020, it has very simplistic graphics, it has a very slow paced gameplay, and it runs at 60 FPS on this card. There are a few hitches every now and then, and probably when you get your city built up a lot, then you might go down uh, in frame rate. But this is with all the visuals turned up, so you could just lower down a few settings. And last up is Super Auto Pets, and this game is a little bit more in line with what this card is designed to handle. 2D workloads and simple interfaces, and it runs at 60 FPS. So if you are looking to play 2D games and things like this, then you would have no problem doing all that stuff on this card. But that's really what this card is for. It is for going online, it's for answering emails, it's for watching video, it's for playing solitaire and super auto pets. So if that's what you're looking for in this card, then it's a really good fit. And if you are looking to play games on it, just be ready to lower down the resolutions and all of the settings.